Should a Christian wait uh, for someone to show an interest before you share the gospel, or can we bo be more aggressive with our evangelistic approach uh, and start spiritual conversations with strangers? And my, that's the question. And my response is, it's entirely up to the individual and the circumstances. Um, I tend to be more aggressive in starting casual conversations using the Colombo tactic to maybe see if any doors will open for me, probing, gathering information, getting an understanding of where the person is at, um, before I kind of dive a little deeper into spiritual things. We establish a, a more pleasant environment for conversation, get a little information, understand that person's spiritual topography or personal mental topography based on the way they've responded. And that helps me to feel a little bit more comfortable to move into conversation and deeper issues. It doesn't always work that way. Maybe the nature of the issue is uh, where I, I jump right in. Maybe I'm at an event that's focused on spiritual things or something like that. I have friends that are much more aggressive than I am and they're handing out tracts and they're asking questions that have to do with spiritual things right out of the gate and that's their style and that's the way they like doing it and God seems to use that. So there are lots of different ways to do it. Um, my guideline is uh, something from Colossians. Paul says in Colossians 4, um, act, uh, conduct yourselves with wisdom towards outsiders, making the most of the opportunity. Um, got a plane going over here, but uh, seasoning your words with salt, as it were, so that you know how to respond to each person. It's a great guideline. It's one that really underscores the tactical approach that we use at Stand to Reason. And it, it, it basically says, uh, and I, I can hardly improve on the words, but be wise, be smart, uh, be alert, watch what's going on, and adapt to the person. That's great advice, and I think it's a great answer to this question.